into it. We got a big guest, a social media star here. What's up, man? <laughs> Jason Santiago. What's going on, brother? What's up? It's nice to actually hear your voice because on social media, because you're blowing up on Instagram, I never hear your voice. Right, yeah, because I do a lot of the voiceovers. Every now yeah. and then I'll do like original stuff or whatever. But yeah, I love doing the audio clips. Yeah. And just kind of just in, incorporating it to like what I, how I see it in my head or whatever. Mm. And that's kind of when I come up with the different ideas. And then sometimes even too, like I'll look at like past reels and I'm like, yeah. you know, that's actually pretty funny. But I'm gonna do it better, you know. Yeah, that's really, okay, yeah. Here's <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm super competitive when it comes to that. So yeah, but it's been working out, man. I have fun. It's addictive too. Oh yeah, tell you that much. It's addictive. Well, what's your uh, handle so people? Because you're blown up on Instagram right J- now. Uh, Jason Santiago comedy. Yeah, follow me. Appreciate it. Yes, definitely. Jason Santiago but- comedy. I appreciate the follow. And, uh, yeah, man, I'm just trying to make everybody laugh. Oh, yeah, you're doing great. I'm a big fan of yours on there. Likewise. So, no, thank you for Appreciate coming you. out here. And you are our first guest in the history of dry farts that had to put away their gun before they, <laughs> they did this. So that, that, is, that is a first. We're, you know, it, it is Easter, you know. <laughs> it is, it is. It's a violent holiday. So it, just, <laughs> it is. Well, as you know what happened. Yeah. Well, I mean, uh, when you yeah. see these kids, how they're looking for eggs, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They're, they're throwing elbows and whatnot. I'm like, man. That's true. The true meaning of Easter is I'm quite like, I'm going to give horrific. my kid, kid a nine millimeter, you know. Like, That's my egg. You know right. what happens well, when they find all the eggs? You know what I mean. Right. That's, when, that's when the purge comes out. Like, <laughs> yeah, no nails or crosses. Man, I tell you, just, man, just, just, just the purge. Is, I'm telling you, the purge is going to be a real thing one day. I'm telling you right now. I well, do a bit right. on that, but it's yeah. It's scary. I'm people. not trying to get all like <laughs> conspiracy <laughs> no. on you, you know, conspiracy theorist on you. But. Okay, no, you can talk. He's got gun in conspiracies. All right, I don't think we're getting. I'm ready for it. Yeah, yeah, he's ready. But no, we're because you got to be safe here. We we are in like an art studio. Yeah, because you know those yeah. art. You know, some like oil painter is gonna go nuts and. <laughs> Like a suicidal, maybe like a Van Gogh yeah, type. Yeah, I hope yeah. so, because, I mean, it used to be safe to go to kindergarten, you know what I mean? So oh, that, no. That's a little dangerous. Oh, days, no, so man. I don't know. Dude, I was even feeling that when uh, the Super Bowl came through Phoenix, right? And they had that uh, NFL experience downtown. Yeah, yeah. And there was like 25,000. I was one of those yeah. people. And then you see people up on the roof with uh, just taking pictures, and you're right. just like... What if that like, was? Are you taking pictures or picking out targets? You yeah, know? yeah, exactly. You don't want to like put it out there, but yeah, you know what I mean? I mean? It's we laugh about that, but that's yeah. a scary thing now these days. Oh yeah, man. like that's a real thing. Oh, People yeah. start dropping, and you're like, Ugh! you yeah. know what I mean? Like, yeah, I'm a little desensitized to shootings. Like, like I'm in the news. I'm not saying, you, but that's yeah. real. I mean, I know. seriously, like. Like to become desensitized to something like that, like that should never be That's something nuts. that you go, yeah. oh yeah, oh it was Thursday, you know, yeah. like yeah, it makes sense. What else? Yeah, it's yeah, it's yeah. it's super super scary, scary, super world. scary. I wouldn't want to be growing up at you know in this era, man. Good thing I'm out of school. Uh, but I was gonna say when you bring the gun, do you do it? <laughs> no, I, I, I love what the, the gun. fuck? <laughs> that sounded so bad. <laughs> No, I I because right. people will be safe, right, Jeff? Right. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> That's fucking. Well, I mean, now I'm on medication. That so, so. out. <laughs> right, now I'm medicated. Jeez, okay, all right, that, but that no, Zoloft is amazing. Holy shit! I'm more of a Prozac guy, but uh, oh my god! <laughs> Imagine hearing that in the disclaimers. You know, like when you like all the like the medication yeah. commercials or whatever could cause school shootings. You oh know? my god! <laughs> well, they're not on them. That's yeah, the yeah. problem. Let <laughs> yeah, yeah. me ask you though, with the gun though, on shows. It definitely could shut down a heckler in yeah. two seconds. Oh <laughs> yeah, if I was man, if I was strapped man on there, I, you know, I've never oh, done it, but I, yeah, I have thought about it, man. Yeah, I know. tell you, it would go viral. <laughs> it would definitely go viral. Yeah. I would be in jail for a little bit, but I'd be viral. <laughs> yeah. you know? like, get a good lawyer. I don't know, be, sponsorships yeah. I get. From oh yeah, endorsements, but yeah, after I mean Smith and Wesson, Smith and Wesson, <laughs> ammo. <laughs> yeah. uh, I would say though, Jason, after watching him, he knows how to shut down a heckler. Oh yeah, you know yeah. I mean, he's got but sometimes that. there's one, that one just needs a little scare, just just you know, yeah, just a couple at the feet, yeah, yeah, yeah just a wound. You're not In gonna kill him, yeah, <laughs> right. yeah. <laughs> for so the roof, he calms people down. Yeah, <laughs> mainly I think comics should have guns for like the chattering tables that just won't show it up. You know yeah. what I'm saying? The yeah. bachelorette party, or at least like Will Smith. Will Smith, have yeah, Will Smith, Will Smith, like yeah, yeah, because was... you know he uh, he's not a real gangster. Will yeah. Smith, remember right. that? I know. Now he got beat up by the gangsters, and that's why I had to leave West Philly. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, okay, <laughs> I saw what you wrote there. That's okay. where he was born and raised, yeah. you know? Yeah, 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 yeah. Absolutely. yeah. <laughs> But no, I'm so glad you're here. No, that is awesome. And uh, actually, the thing is, you've been doing, uh, you just got done doing a show in Baghdad. Yeah. Did you have to bring the gun? But, but what's up? Which Baghdad? <laughs> Baghdad, Arizona. Yeah. Okay, wait. I was like, <laughs> I initially, I initially spelt it wrong. I spelled yeah. like Baghdad, like you know, Baghdad, in like yeah. In the Middle I was like, East you just do a tour, like yeah. And yeah. They were like, yeah, no, that's not here, man. And no, I'm telling you right now. First of all, beautiful like area. Right. Like, what right. part of the drive up? What part of AC is it? It's like north, and like I don't know exactly north how east north. Or some yeah, shit. Like, it was, almost yeah. on the way to Vegas. Okay. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. exactly how it is. Okay. Yeah. On the way to Vegas, you go up the same route, you know, that you can go, but. Um,
And so when I got there, you know, and it's like a country bar. It's a, it's a copper mining town. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh. Okay, like, so yeah. everybody's like really, really cool. But I was just like, this is the kind of place where problems can just go away. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's why I say when you said no stuff. You know what like, I mean? It's yeah. Like, yeah. Or, I mean, I'm like, please let me leave. Because I was like, I was worried about maybe even being too funny. to be like, hey, we never letting this fucker go. <laughs> yeah. <You know? laughs> we live off the I'll land. I'll become the town jester forever. <laughs> oh, you know? yeah. Like <laughs> in that movie House of Wax where, <laughs> you just, where they just keep you there forever. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, They're my like, God. They're like, where's Jesus Santiago? He went to Baghdad. <laughs> yeah. We just don't know like where he's at. <laughs> yeah, there'd be no uh, Instagram posts. Because, yeah, there's no. <laughs> I'll be in a cage. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> With a microphone stand in a stool you know that's right. that well you'll be on a true crime uh exactly. documentary yeah. i mean it's not as funny as the instagram right. but it's uh like oh yeah that's what happened to him yeah yeah he looks really scared no but but seriously though i mean it was, it was an awesome it was yeah. an awesome place to do a show they were really cool yeah there. i'm kind yeah. of yeah there's a lot of people know in arizona we have a miami arizona and that's yep. a copper mine or was a mining town we did shows there once years ago mm-hmm. yeah there's those little towns can be fun here in arizona yeah yeah, because they yeah. don't have comedy or inter- entertainment. They're hungry for it. Yeah. They, get like, they want someone to come through. Yeah. They do. Yeah, yeah. they do. Like, uh, Yuma, Arizona is the same. I was going to say, oh. I just did one in Yuma, Yuma too. That yeah, was different. One, yeah. And it's like, they are thirsty, thirsty uh-huh. for it. Really? Yeah. Yeah, I had a lot of fun. I was at the, uh, was it the... Yeah, where'd you play Crest? in Yuma? No, I've done the Crest. Done the Crest Lounge. Love the Crest Lounge. Crest is, I mean, beautiful stage. Yeah, I featured a nice for 200. Nick uh, Guerra there. And oh, I also nice. worked with Joey Medina as, as well. Oh. Um, Mary Upchurch. Um, yeah, who's an, a, another uh, hilarious comedian? Um, on well, I'm gonna say up and coming, but she's been up and coming for yeah. a while. She's out in Vegas now doing her thing. Like she's yeah, I'm right shout sure. out to Mary. I love it. Yeah, yeah shout really out to Mary. Yeah, yeah, she's. Yeah. I mean, and Mary's hilarious. Like, oh yeah. Have you ever seen like? Because I she has awesome material, but if, have you ever seen her do crowd work? Actually, I seen her no, do I've crowd work. It was it was actually last year for the uh, House of Comedy's contest, the funniest oh, of the day yeah, job. Yeah. Was she hosting it? Plug. There you go, Rick. Um, <laughs> but she wasn't even like, and she wasn't feeling good either. And you couldn't even tell when she went on stage. But she started doing crowd work, and I'm just was in awe because yeah. I've never seen her do crowd work before. And I was just like, oh my god, like, right? She's a beast. Yeah, you know what I mean, and quick. Right. So it's like you know, and that's why that's what I love about comedy because and. I'm a fan, like a lot of you guys, you know, Dana as well. Um, and it's like, because I, I learn from you guys too, but I also am like sincerely entertained. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, because it's just like, wow, because like there's different styles of comedy, oh, you yeah. know? Oh, you know, oh my there's God. Some yeah. that, that, there are some that are my bag, there's some that are not, or whatever. Oh, but, yeah. you know, but it doesn't mean like you could still learn something. Exactly. I think we it. have three different, four different styles of comedy in this room yeah. right now. Yeah. 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 Totally. Absolutely. Totally. You know, and so you come yeah. together, you have like, a, like a, a melting bar or an eclectic like formula, yeah. and you can like put some together some really cool shows. Yeah. Variety. You know, with, with, like, with yeah. having that. Yeah. Especially true, like one style to the next, you know? Oh, yeah. The true meaning of a variety show. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, the thing is, uh, what I like about some of those shows is, like, if you see somebody you're not really a fan of their comedy, but you know they're good, mm-hmm. what did you learn from them? And one thing they all have in common, at least I've noticed, is just that confidence. Yeah. Yeah, when when they feel it and the crowd feels it, yeah. it's like, I don't know, it just it's a connection. It's a, Yeah. Yeah. It's, like, the energy that you can feel off of that. I mean, oh, there's yeah. been shows that I'm not on just watching, and, like, it's like that, that wave starts, and you're like, oh, God. I'm right. like, I want to get on that surfboard. Oh, like, yeah. I want to jump in. I want to jump in. And those are the best because you can feel like, I'll get goosebumps. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, Pe- like literally get goosebumps. Oh, yeah. Especially well, when it's a friend. Right. That's yeah. when you're just like, oh. I, lo- I, I love that. Yep. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. Some people don't like it when somebody does well before them, but I like it because you know it's a good crowd. It's yeah. Good. There's, there's a fun energy still going. Exactly. I well, think I would rather have someone do good before yes. me than do bad, right? Yeah. I don't get when people get I upset hate, about yeah. that. I mean, I have a low self-esteem, and I get upset about other things. Right. And I do not. <laughs> like, I'm like, oh, thank God, this crowd's laughing. They're good. Okay, at least I have right. a shot. Yeah, yeah. You're right. They know how to laugh. We're good. Okay. Well, you, right. yeah. one of the mo- most painful things in the world, there's like two people up before you. They're crushing. You're like, right. oh, yeah, yeah, this is mine. Oh, yeah. And you get up there, and it's like, oh, shit. It's, it's yeah. like, yeah. You really feel like piece of shit then. But it's, uh, but no. It happens. Yeah. Oh, it happens. It happens. But it it's happens. fun. I know, yeah. Uh, yeah, always want the person before you doing well. It's a good sign. Right. Definitely. Yeah. No, when, uh, so you've been doing a lot of shows down at House of Comedy. Mm-hmm. Uh, monthly down there. I was going to say, well. you got a monthly still. Monthly, yeah. 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 What about, uh, you're talking about another small, Lake Havasu, Arizona? Uh, Lake Havasu. I'm going to be, uh, we're going to start doing, I believe, well, it's not official, official yet, but uh, May 20th, we'll be doing our first show at the Nautical Resort. Oh, nice. Um, yeah. Uh, like, uh, like, again, we, Adam Morta and myself, we're going to be down there. Um, have Also have a room at Local Patron in Old Town Scottsdale. Right. Our show's next week, Wednesday. If you're listening, come on out. It's a free show. Uh, we have a hilarious lineup. We got Peter Jordan um, is going to be our headliner mm. this month. You, you, you guys know yeah, Peter? Yeah,
Peter and not do and we know Peter? <laughs> Peter to me, like Peter doesn't get the exposure. I don't want. I, I'm going to say respect because it's not that people dis, you know disrespect him, but he doesn't get the credit. I guess right. is the best word I should use that he like he deserves. Like that dude right. is hilarious. Another very quick on the spot type of person. His first two jokes are always something observational like Yeah. Yeah. Know, like every he, time it's that quick. he hosted yeah. a show I forgot who he was hosting for at the uh at Stir Crazy and he came back out and the comic, whoever he was, I'm not gonna say the name, was just kind of just like really just mellow. Yeah. You know, and so he <laughs> Peter comes out, he goes, if Prozac was a person, nah, yeah, nah, that nah. was him right there. And it was just like, I mean, to me, I'm like, that's genius, you like know, because I was like different, yeah. like th I was thinking, you know, as comics, we all think right. of what we would say at that, you know, at that moment. And I'm like, but it's just like right there on. So shout nice. out to Peter. We're going to have him on headline. Hell yeah. headline. Yeah. All right. Nice. No, I actually can take a bird scooter to that place. I can oh, I shit, walk that close. Yeah. <laughs> no, I could usually walk there, but I like the bird scooter because I feel like, you know, we're talking about Harley. Yeah. Race. I feel like easy rider. No, absolutely. Yeah. Dude. Yo, during the pandemic, I rode those everywhere man because oh, they the were just they go 15 I, miles per hour yeah i was because oh, yeah. my thing was this like i nothing was like we didn't have anything really to do we were yeah. shut down and i'm like i'm not wasting yep. gas in my car oh, i'm no, like i'm no. gonna spend like a dollar something i'm like oh this is fun it was <laughs> no. i'm not gonna lie oh the wind in your hair i was thinking about getting a leather jacket with <laughs> yeah. colors man he's bad to the bone oh you know, i was what's thinking even, about it yeah I mean, those uh those bird scooters yeah like i said but if you live in old town like i uh, you can go in certain neighborhoods. It'll right. stop on you because you're not allowed to drive. Yeah, in they have them. Yeah, there's blocked off. So be very careful with that. Yeah. But yeah, yeah. But uh, yeah, love the bird scooter. Love. Uh, yeah, I was just gonna say, me and my girl take out those bird scooters sometimes. Put in the Apple AirPods. There you go. So you can talk back and forth. Yeah. Like, oh. Take a light breaker one nine, but take a light. Yeah. Take there you go. You can and talk to those. I yeah. Didn't know that. Well, oh. you just call them. You know what I mean. Just call. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that, yeah. With the AirPods. So it's like a walkie-talkie, you know what I mean? Exactly. Just, I know that. You just go for fucking 15 minutes straight. Just there you go. Not so to the CMO of Bird, you guys owe him a check now. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> no, they owe me money. I that's what I'm saying. That's, that's yeah, what I'm yeah, saying. Yeah, they owe you money. Uh, I've helped them out plenty of times. <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah. But yeah, don't ride those drunk either. I, <laughs> let me tell you something. Those Why not? I thought that. Would that still be drinking and driving? It's very difficult. Uh Maybe I'm not, I work on my motorcycle. I think there's some fine print that's there. You know? Yeah, I yeah. Know. I think they, just... I, they, yeah, there's been some times I almost killed myself, but that's okay. We're going to be fine. No, but uh, yeah, they're very dangerous, actually. Kids at home, if you're listening, don't try that. Okay. Yeah, don't do that. Don't do that. I, it's I have not nothing to live fun. For. Yeah. <laughs> I live on the edge. But no, uh, speaking about bird scooters, um, we're going to talk about that. Dylan Mulvaney. We're going to get yeah. into that a little bit. I'm just kind of curious your take on that. Uh, now, those who don't know, the trans activist. Yeah was on TikTok going 365 days, the transition, and Bud Light rewarded her with a Bud Light can with her picture on it. Yeah. And uh, it is not making Kid Rock very happy. Yeah. I, I wonder yeah. What, what, how you feeling on this. You know what? I, my thing is, like, do what makes you happy. Right, right. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, the whole transition thing. And if she got a major company like Budweiser yeah. to acknowledge, yeah. you know, that transition, that, you know, this course – of her, his life, or whatever. Yeah. Um, more power to you. Yeah. You Don't hate I mean? the player, like, hate honestly, the game. More power to you. You know right. what I mean? Like, you got to think about the endorsement, like how much money. She received. Am, am I saying it right? She. He, I don't she. Know. Yeah, don't worry. You're not. It's, it's confusing. It's, yeah. You were good, and then you said she. she, she I did see a post though. Somebody <laughs> put a post something because yeah. like the yeah. Budweiser went from like the Clydesdale to like unicorns. Now. Like there's no. <laughs> did that's you guys see that? Good. I thought that was. No, that's that's I thought that was hilarious. That's that is good. very funny. Actually. Oh, yeah. And I was like, I'm like, somebody kind of needs to come out with a shirt for that. Right oh yeah, yeah. Budweiser, like you heard it here first. Okay, I just want to let you know. Well, the thing I talk about because Kid Rock, like I didn't see it. I didn't give it a second thought. I'm like, all right, that's cool, whatever. But he I got a bunch of Bud Light cans. He went viral with the video, taking yeah. an assault rifle, shooting right, I a Bud know. Light yeah, can. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just like, yeah, it's, it's just like the this. best thing for you to do right now, brother. Right. I was thinking that. I just don't get how you could get that angry over yeah. it. It's, um, I don't know. I, I'm, just, I'm just wondering. I, I'm kind of in shock by this whole thing. I, yeah. You know, I think, I think part of it is publicity thing, you know, because. Oh, yeah, it's an easy follow. Like Kid yeah. Rock back in the day was Kid Rock. You oh, know? yeah, like, yeah. And I don't really listen to him uh, much, but I don't yeah. think he has this, the staying power that he once had. So it's like, how do you reinvent yourself? So even <laughs> right. even something is so, like controversy is going to yeah. get you out there in the front, you know? So, I mean, yeah. I bet you right now, like he's got a single that's ready to drop. Nah, good point. Yes. If a single drops like yeah. within the next month or so, now we, we know, know what exactly it was. Yeah, it was what happened. Because I'm like, bro, like, really? Do you care? You know, like, first of yeah. all, you, if you're drinking Bud Light, I question your drinking habits already. You know what I mean? So, <laughs> well, he's white trash. So that's what they, I mean, well, what we drink. <laughs> yeah, no, like Travis Trey, when I was reading the article, he said he's banning uh, 
uh, Budweiser from or Bud Light from the yeah. Strider and stuff. And it's like these people, your fan base. This is this is their breakfast. I mean, you're you're getting rid of their lifeblood. Well, and then Bud it's Light, scary yeah. because we got a lot of like ignorant people out there. Yeah, you know. And then the scary part is, is that. Well, shit, if Kid Rock is going to be shooting them up, I'm going to shoot them up, too. Yeah. But, fuck, can I curse on here? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, curse. fuck yeah, the freaking man. cans. Let me find some fucking <laughs> transgenders. And that's the scary part, though. Yeah, you yeah, know yeah, what yeah. I mean? Like, try, I'm not trying level. to take the humor out of things, but yeah, that's, yeah. that's the scary part of, like, the result of what can happen. Right. You know what I mean? Because, uh, I mean, I don't know if you guys are Trump supporters. I'm sorry if you were. That's no, okay. no, 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 you know, <laughs> no. I'm going to put 20 on his books for him. You know what I mean? But <laughs> but you got to think about it. If that man got voted in an office, there were a lot of freaking people yeah. that were idiots out there in the freaking polls. Like, oh, my God, Mary Jean, I didn't even know this was an election thing right here. Yeah. You know, like they've never even seen the side of an election booth. Right. Yeah. But because that dumbass was on there, you know, so like that's what I'm saying. Like that's. We got to be careful. There's, I yeah. mean, there is some responsibility as entertainers, especially we have right. freedom of speech and creativity, whatever. And I and I totally protect that. Right. But then we do have some a certain level of responsibilities because of the way this world is now. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah there's yeah. a lot of sick individuals. Here. Yeah. It just seems kind of weird that you would get so violently angry over one yeah. little can of a transgender person. And I did yeah. find the humor in it a little bit, yeah, but like, oh, like but at yeah. the same time, I'm like. Oh, be careful. Yeah, you he goes, know? when he gets angry, he goes, fuck you, Anheuser-Busch. <laughs> fuck you, Bud Light. And, I was and like, here's why it's funny. Like, yeah. Here's why it's funny. It's not funny of like what he's saying. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's the funny that he's getting this outrage. Exactly. Like, yeah. Where you're like, look, yeah. like, look yeah, at the I'm outrage. Like, who's the angry that little is, elf? You yeah, know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is like, because yeah. like, he w- you're that outraged. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. That's, come on. You can't be serious. And that's why it's viral. You know I mean? Right. Like, yeah, and that's why it's viral. It's genius. Yeah, and yeah. it's like, damn. Like, that's you the might kind of right. shit. But, hey, yeah. man, come here. Check this out, man. Yeah. You know, like, look at him. <laughs> look at him, man. He, and he's serious, too. Look. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah. I mean, I think we got to, like, go on record as comedians being like, oh, no, he's definitely joking. You can't be that serious you know what I mean I, I and think then, he like, would be <laughs> I mean, yeah, I just, yeah, but yeah. I mean like you said I mean now all of a sudden people are like you know I haven't heard Bow at the Ba in a while and then you might go start <laughs> streaming it which we're talking about like I have not heard a new Kid Rock song it's since been, nine. Dana can you look up when Kid Rock's yeah. last album was I mean I'm sure he's put out shit but <laughs> I mean is there anything I mean he's like, no Limp Bizkit yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Dana, yeah, Dana's big one biscuit. I know, baby. I said that on yeah. purpose. Yeah. I don't think Fred Durst is pissed about the trend. I don't think so yeah. either. And, uh, I, we, it, it, Dana, all. any word on Fred Durst? Is he uh, boycotting Bud Light? I haven't heard anything yet, but here's. We'll, we'll see. Uh, Kid Rock's last album was Bad Reputation in 2022. Oh. Oh, he, 20, oh, so pretty he did recent. Come out with an album. And Kid Rock has his well, own That's first. how well it did, that in 2022. Oh. Okay. He had yeah. an album and nobody yeah. in his room heard oh, or no knew about it. You know, I need more people to listen to this podcast. Let's take that gun and just fire it into like something. <laughs> yeah, we got <laughs> we got some. Well, shout out, shout out the name of the just podcast. Just like you got yeah. lights. <laughs> Dry farts. Well, uh, hey, on our Patreon, I'll shoot Dry a gun farts. in an art studio. Now, yeah. Next, no. <laughs> Dry farts are always the stinkiest, or the wet farts ones. Oh, wet fart to me. We'll get in the farts. Yeah, um, we'll definitely <laughs> talk farts. Uh, I would say, in my experience, uh, the wet ones are the worst. Oh, they are. Yeah, that's in my opinion. Can be a bit my, messy for sure. Oh, messy. Bit messy, yeah, and, and then you get cranky ass afterwards, you know, because so, like here in the summer is oh, God, wet you get fart that in the swamp summer? ass, man. Ugh. Oh, it, it, in Arizona, it is it is truly the devil uh, biting your balls. Seriously. It is horrible. That's why I, I always carry wet wipes with me in the car. And <laughs> yeah, good, no, yeah, dude wipes. Something about I've been, yeah, man. Oh, in the summer, wipe oh, wipe yourself with some dude oh, wipes. Yeah, if you want a subscription. Shout out to Dude Wipes. Dude Wipes. Yeah. <laughs> it's the only free one you get here. Yeah, Dude Wipes. <laughs> but uh, no, no, yeah, the wet ones, uh, the dry, why well, I call it dry farts? Because you know in sports, sports media, where they go a hot take or something? Yeah. Right? I said, well, dry fart. So I was like, right. like, because it was always a stupid, hot takes are always stupid. Right, right. And I didn't really think it through. And uh, so we're, we're, we're riding, we're ride and die with this name. And it's, uh, I like it. Yeah, it's, uh, I like it. But like I said, we'll we'll fire off that gun. You need to make a shirt because I want to walk. I want to wear that shirt. So oh yeah, right. oh we're working on we're working on merch. That's next in the line. There yeah. you go. I yeah. got wearing one of those Instagram videos. Nice. Yes. Oh, that would be yes. good. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, I'll, I'll do it for you. Because yeah, I'll do twenty percent for Popple. Absolutely. Popple. Yeah, Popple. man. <laughs> Tell you, man, I love Popple, man. Like so, Popple. We were talking about it before yeah. we got on. It's a digital business card on there. It's like you know letting dot and the other whatever. But yeah. Popple is the one that I that I work with and I like because they have. A variety of different products that you could use. Right. So, like, I have like the uh, the wristband here, this phone case, 
is also mm, phone oh, case is nice. Yeah, start right there at the bottom. So I don't know if you guys see it. Oh wait, so you can? Is uh, somebody scans their phone on the? Not even scan it. You just put it. You just tap the phone. Oh, and it puts and, everything and it, up. And it pops up. And when it pops up, then you could load whatever you want on there. So I have my pay apps that are yeah. on there. My mm. Instagram, my uh, uh, all my social media, right, right, right. Like LinkedIn and everything yeah. else. And super reliable. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. Because oh, yeah. I mean, it's you know. That's just the, the way the you know technology is. I There's mean, nothing, I still have yeah. like conventional for like us old, old folks. I still have business cards that I carry. Yeah. You know, but but I mean, this is most people, even old people. My yeah. parents know how to use a phone. So yeah. It's, it's, yeah. People got to move on to that. Yeah. I mean, and well, what it's cool about it too is, is that because it's free, like to get as far as just to use it, like yeah. not free for the actual order of the product, but right, right. free just to use it. But you can pay for a more of uh, get more analytics I should say behind oh, it. Oh, that's but then also on the free part is is that let's say like we connect, I'll get an email saying, Hey, I just connected with Jeff and then now I can follow up, I can reach out to you. Hey, it was great meeting you at the show, blah, blah, blah. Oh. I'm gonna be out here, 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 Duh. here. Ooh. So you can do your you know, the follow up, you know, yep. with it. Yeah. That's that whole Which business side comedy. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Uh, yeah. yeah. I tell you your sponsorship, you might have got a new customer here because uh, I know because we we're talking about that after nice. your show. Uh, usually a crowd of 300 one person says I thought you were funny yeah. and uh, so when that happens and they, we're they banking on that, that one person, person. Yeah, yeah. we're like, gonna get you that one guy goes like dude I thought you were funny right. I, these guys there they don't get it yeah and, uh, and, and so, so when I meet that guy and he goes you dude, keep doing what you're doing yeah yeah keep doing you got it man I believe in you and uh and it's like, it'd just be better if you walked away. But right. usually when they come up to you, they always want your socials or something, right? And you want to give it to them. This is so much easier. Cause yeah. I've had it where they can't find it. I, my mm-hmm. name's all fucked up. And, um, no, this is a genius way. Popple. Popple. And, and the promo code. Is Jason Santiago. Jason Santiago. You'll get 20% off. There we go. Because yep. uh, on yours, Jeff, yeah. I could see him be like, P- Picaretta? Yeah, yeah. How do we, yeah, I can't spell it. What is that, yeah. five Cs? Right. <laughs> Well, it's anti-Italian-American uh, yeah. racism. And that's what it, it clearly you it is. Yeah. You're from New York, which we tell you, met Because yeah. you said you used to live there, and there was an accident, and you had to move out here. So I'm assuming, was it connected to the life? Yeah. You know, I'm still on the run, man. You know, that's I just... Okay. Well, my last name really isn't Santiago, but <laughs> yeah. it's all right. <laughs> it, it's Buscelli or something. No, it's... Yeah. Uh, well, no, we have a lot of mobsters out here in Phoenix. Actually, uh, Sammy the Bull Gravano, Sammy the Bull, yeah. one of the biggest YouTubers now. Yeah, I know. Yeah, he was uh, from New York and uh, went to prison, and now he's huge. Man, that, that dude got lucky the way things were, you know, ended twice. up with him, man. He got lucky twice. Yeah, he's lucky mob didn't get his ass, but yeah. No, they're all on YouTube. I, yeah. I, I, there's like, remember back in the day, in the mobsters, yeah, they would all kill you. Now they have yeah. YouTube channels, and they're like, got talk about killing you. <laughs> yeah, oh no, that's why he talks about killing was, people. If you want to see me kill him, like and share. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. Actually, for the views, can you maim me in the yeah, leg or right, something? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. No, I mean, the, that's the thing. He talks about killing people on his show, and I, I get sucked into it. <laughs> yeah, because, yeah, I mean, he's already been convicted, did his time. You know, he worked with the federal government. There so you go. He can, See? These are stories that are out there. We're demented individuals as far as oh, what entertains yeah. us. It sells, yeah. You yeah. know what I mean? More demented, sell. Yeah. The oh, more yeah. sells, The more yeah. demented, yeah, exactly. Well, like, I'm like a big mob guy, so this stuff, like, it will suck me in. There's uh, Yeah, yeah. Mike, something uh, another one, Mike F. I don't know. Forgot his name. But yeah, there's several mobster YouTubers out there. Yeah, I watch a lot of the documentaries as well. Yeah, it's yeah. kind of. There's no one. I mean, yeah. you rat, you're fine. You actually start a Patreon. You're going to be, you're going to be fine. You'll probably make more than you did, uh, you know, hustling union workers. There you go. Yeah, I, mean, I was going to yeah. say, how strong is the mob, though, these days? It's still, I mean, it's still around. There's still no thing? such thing as the yeah, mob. Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> I'm like, shit. I'm like, why did I even ask that? Like, <laughs> that's just Goodfellas, man. Yeah, that's oh, all that's that was. True. Yeah, you, one like, my well, favorite movies of all time. Oh, too, you. Man. We I will talk Goodfellas. Good well, yeah, we will. We will. Goodfellas. Let's get into Goodfellas. Let's yes, that. that is one of my favorite movies ever. Mm-hmm. I'm more of a casino guy, but they're both. Uh, I love casino. Yeah, too. casino. Yeah, yeah, but but Goodfellas in particular, uh, phenomenal. In fact, that's a guy who was known as a rat, Henry Hill, mm-hmm. and he got a movie deal. Yep. So and it's one, yeah. of, yeah. one of the movie, biggest exactly. movies of all time. And he yeah. lived till he he died of, as an old man. Yeah. Um, yeah. What was your like? Who, and then Goodfellas. Out of all the characters, was there one you had like a favorite? Because it's pretty much, even though Henry Hill's the star, yeah. Ray Liotta, it is kind of an ensemble cast. What was? I like Tommy. Oh yes, Tommy. Yeah. yeah. I mean, Tim you think? I, I remember like the first time I watched Goodfellas, and it was like I was what in high school or whatever. Yeah. And I remember thinking like, oh, he's gonna die. Like yep. this dude's just too crazy. He's crazy, and he's yeah. like four foot eleven. You know what yeah, I mean? Like yeah. I don't that was know, Joe that Pesci. Was yeah, Joe Pesci. Yeah, 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 Tommy DeVito. Yeah. Yep. And but it, it but it was the the humor that Pesci brought into that character. Oh, yeah. 
You know, because you can kind of see like he, was, like he was a scary son of a bitch, but yeah. he was funny about it. You know, oh, yeah, I mean? hilarious. Like that whole scene where like you know, do I amuse you? Yeah, yeah, like yeah. clown. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. yeah. And the guy was like, and everybody was like, oh shit. Okay, so yeah, Tommy's a sick son of a bitch. Yeah. you know what I mean. He's a big boy, Frankie. Should I? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> old, old Francis. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like, and it's like you, I, I gotta laugh. But if I don't laugh, but then if I do laugh, like you don't never know what was gonna happen. That scene had so much tension when it, it was did. quiet there. Yeah, I mean, you could still, I even you know what's gonna happen. And you've yeah. seen it a hundred times. You could still feel that tension. That's yeah. so amazing about that. I did. Movie. I did a reel to that man. That did. That oh, you did. Yeah. Oh, it did, it, I it, did, it. It, did, it did. It did pretty well. Yeah. Well, get your shine box is my favorite yeah, get line. Your, yeah. I don't shine shoes anymore. Yeah. I don't know if you heard. You <laughs> yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Go home and get your fucking shine yeah. box. I love. <laughs> used to fuck kids in the ass back in the can like that. Or I was like, or something like that. Frank Vincent, who played that character, was Joe Pesci's childhood friend. They played in a band together, mm. and he starred in. Well, he was a, he was on The Sopranos. He played uh, Phil Leotardo. Phil Leotardo. Yep. Yeah, I'm right. a big Sopranos fan too. Like huge Sopranos fan. Dude. You did not tell when we were on our pre-show. I yeah. was like, that, that's my favorite show of all time. Yeah, yeah. I love The well, you just I've binge-watched that show like a million times. I mean, that and uh, Sons of Anarchy is another one. I okay, think. okay. Well, uh, what's yeah. I know we're going a little bit different direction. Yeah. From the day, <laughs> but, but it's still 1%ers. It's okay. Yeah, Adriana's in there. Adrian. That was going to be my connection. Jeff has you on Sopranos. I got you on Sons. Yeah, yeah. there you go. Adrian, yeah. Adriana Lacerva. Poor, she was a, I kind of, you know, let me tell you something. You guys should have seen the show already. She was. It's really sad what happened to her. Uh, she was dumb, but she didn't mean any harm. I mean, yeah, she, she fucked up. Yeah, uh, Christopher, I love you. Christopher, <laughs> I love that he goes. I Let's love just you. go away, you and I. Yeah. Yeah. I'm like, woman, you just snitched. Like, are you kidding me oh, right yeah. now? Well, he goes to the gas station, sees that guy who was living a normal life with the wife and kids. He looked yeah. miserable. Chris yeah. was like, "Fuck this." And that was a great another twist in the show where Tony calls her and yeah. he's like, "Hey, uh, yeah." She, uh, Tony, Christopher committed suicide, but don't. It's okay. Let's so we'll pick you up and take you. That's pretty good. Yes, thank you. Thank you. That was really good. Yeah. <laughs> no, I do that. Yeah, that, that scene. And then where it's like, she fucked up. But if this happened nowadays, she would be on YouTube right now. Yeah. Oh, my God. A female yeah. mob? Oh. Yeah. But yeah, she was. Yeah, She'd she, have a show. Yeah. She would have her own show. Oh, yeah. yeah. I mean, she was. Uh, she could run her own Stone Pony. What was the name of the club she owned? Yeah. yeah, <laughs> yeah. Stone <laughs> Pony. Yeah. She, I just, that's, that's one character I always felt bad for. But uh, yeah, I remember when she died on The Sopranos, she went on Joey. Remember Friends, the mm-hmm, spinoff, and mm-hmm. that failed. Then Santa's Sons of Anarchy. Then Sons of Anarchy, there yeah, where she played out. Uh, uh, she was well. She was a junkie. It was like, a, uh, was it meth? Meth. Oh, oh yeah. the mom. No, uh, Adriana. Her. Uh, what's her? What was her name? In, oh, in Sons uh, of Anarchy. Um, Dre De Mateo. Yes, but what was her name on the? Sons what was her character? Uh, I never watched. She was Jack's ex-wife. Okay, yeah, the meth head. Yeah, but what was her name again? I'm oh, like having drawn a blank right oh. now. Yeah. I know exactly who you're talking about, though. Yeah, she's yeah. like in the first. So season. it was completely. Yeah. Thing. So you think of eight, you know, go to Adriana to that character. Yeah, you know, and you're like, oh, not, what happened? Oh, there's been years. Okay, I get it. Oh yeah, yeah. It's all that. Hey, she yeah. didn't really die. Maybe because we never saw what happened. Yeah, we just she heard the didn't guy. die. <laughs> I thought Sylvia uh, got her. Like, yeah, it was crazy. Yeah, yeah. yeah I thought Sylvia. She walked away. You fucking. Sylvia's another one. Yeah. Oh, Sylvia's another one. Yeah. Sylvia Dante. Uh, I think he's my favorite character. On, oh really? Uh, okay, that's a good choice. Sopranos. Great choice. That's a show that. Well, actually, my daughter painted. I'll show this here. My favorite character, Polly Walnuts. Polly Walnuts. She there painted this for me. This is Tony Sirico. Yeah, uh, Polly yeah. was my hero. Uh, yeah, Polly, Polly was, was in Goodfellas too. Yeah, he was small part. Yeah, uh, real, real small part. Like know, in the beginning, when they were like horsing around, and yeah. Polly comes out and whatever, and he Polly doesn't even say anything. He just comes to the door and just looks, and they're like, "Yeah, yeah, sorry, Polly, whatever." Like it was him. I just yeah, started yeah, or whatever, yeah, you know. Was, yeah. And he, yeah. you know, and he still has this the wingtips yeah, and everything yeah. still. He always played him. They, that's the thing I love about Sopranos. He played himself. Yeah, because I heard that's how he really was. Yeah. Tony Sirico. Yeah, I'm like, oh, that wasn't. I was like, because that's a hell of a typecast right there. You know. Oh yeah. Like, this well, is all you're gonna do. Well, I went to this uh, this fan thing where it was uh, Christopher Maltesanti, Big Pussy, and Bobby Bacala. They talked about the. They did like a show in Mesa, and it was right. like a, a fan question and answer thing. So I did the nerd thing and went, and we go there. And the, the history of Pauly, which was interesting. He auditioned for Uncle Junior and all that, and then uh, David Chase loved him. It's like, yeah. I don't know what to use you for, but I want you on the show. So he wrote in the part. So if you watch the pilot, he's only in it for like a second. Is he really? Yeah. Uncle Junior is another one. He was in Godfather. Oh, yeah, that's right. He was uh, Godfather too. He was Johnny Ola. That's right. Yep. Johnny Ola. Yep. Johnny Damn. Ola. Yep. Blowing you away right now, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, no, like, thank there you. you go, man. We can talk. In fact, this yeah. whole thing could be Sopranos. He's uh, like, he said, shit, you go, I'm freaking, we're going to have to have some conversations For today. real. Oh, yeah. To watch Sopranos. No, I'm, t- I'm telling <laughs> Josh. This is what I've been telling Josh. See the Sopranos. It'll change your life. Yeah. It'll. You hear that, Dana? Dana knows. We got
Well, I'm I, actually one of those guys that would prefer to watch the end of the movie first and then like, go back the and rewatch the, the, the whole thing. thing. Well, it yeah. didn't have... Okay, uh, but the problem with the ending, it was very open-ended. I think that was a yeah. thing. Uh, for know. interpretation? Yeah. Big time. Because as everybody knows, they're in the... Those uh, are the worst, huh? Yeah, he's in the diner. Uh, you hear, see all the black guys at the counter, and you're thinking... Because yeah. usually you use them as hitmen. Mm -hmm. So you're thinking it's scary, and you hear the bell ring, because I mean, somebody opened the door, and he just looks up, and the screen goes black. Yeah. And well, the uh, thing in that Bobby Bacala in a few episodes earlier, they ask him, "Hey, what do you think happens when you die?" And then he said, "And then Bobby goes, yeah, everything just goes to black." And then that last episode went to that, and you're like, "What the fuck is yeah. that? What he meant?" Yeah, yeah. So you don't know. Gotcha. Yeah. And that's how you keep a series going on forever. People oh, yeah. just talk about it because it's yeah, open exactly. for interpretation. Oh yeah. yeah. We well, gotta do that with our jokes. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, it's all open for interpretation. Yeah, interpretation. Yeah. 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 And then I take out the gun. What the fuck are laughing? <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. cocksuckers. <laughs> so I'll break down the Tony for you no reason. That's pretty good. Like, do you yeah. like how like how, how like do you practice that or is that yeah, I, do comes to you? I, I do practice. That's pretty good. No, I, man. I've been doing it since. I suck at impressions, you know. But no, that's really uh, good. Tony's my only good one. It's uh, yeah. I I've been doing yeah. Believe me, extended relationships. They go, just be yourself, and I'm like, <laughs> like Jesus Christ, calm. <laughs> so I put food on the table, ten thousand square feet. Video games, whatever the fuck. And yeah, and then they, they break up. Got the you. accent down packed, man. Oh, yeah. I love it. Yeah, I'm, love a, it. I'm a psycho fan. Like, if he was <laughs> alive, like, oh, 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 Mr. Yeah, Gandolfini. Yeah, exactly. Well, me, I, um, all right. Well, since you're, like, a fan, this is another question I would have. Like, uh, this is an episode people always have a controversy on. I think it's one of the greatest ones. And as we know, the Pine Barrens episode, where Paulie and Christopher are lost in the woods in <laughs> yeah. South Jersey in the snow. Yeah. At first I saw it, it they were chasing down that Russian, right? Was yeah, that, the yeah, Russian, yeah, yeah. 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 I wash my balls in ice water. That guy. Yeah. That. What would you feel about that episode? First time I saw it, I wasn't into it, but now it's become honestly one of my favorite episodes because it does move slow. It was. I thought it was hilarious, especially because when they were out there, and then now they were cold and they were hungry. Yes. And uh, mix it with what the was relish. It? Yes. <laughs> exactly. He's like, well, you've been holding out on me. What over here? Yeah. And I'm like mustard and ketchup. Like the packets. like the yeah. most hardest like like killers, criminals or whatever. I'm like, you guys are showing how much of a pussy you guys are That's right now. You know what I mean? It's that's, like, that's kind of where I went with it. I'm like, you guys are soft as hell. You know, yeah. You guys are not really. Give you some little cold weather and then that's it, you know? Well, that's why the show was amazing, I, I thought, because they showed the vulnerability yes. in these criminals. Yes. Like, Tony in particular, the yeah. therapy, the oh, yeah. issues with his mother. Mm -hmm. And that episode did too, yeah, because yeah, when you're alone, like there's a great scene. He goes, hey, Chrissy, I'm a captain. Yeah. And then Christopher goes, hey, captain or no captain, we're both assholes. Lost right. In the world. <laughs> exactly. You mean shit out here right now, brother. Yeah. yeah. That's it. It shows the, the, hum the human he's, side of mom. He's like, I'll run. You won't catch me, man. Like, <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'll, I'll run you, Paulie. You know what I mean? Like, you one shoot cocksucker. Yeah. But, yeah. See, he lost his shoe, and they were lost. And, yes. And they're shooting. And they killed the deer I by know. accident. And it. Yeah. I was like, yeah. That was another thing too. When they were shooting, I'm like, you guys suck. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. Hey, yeah, there you go. You guys can't shoot for shit. But yeah. yeah you look like you hit him in the head. The Russian guy, and you ran away. Yeah. It did. And you don't know. Can find him. And just yeah, it showed the vulnerability of the of the criminal mind. And it just yeah, that's yeah. what I love. A humanity. Yeah humanize these guys a little mm -hmm. bit mm -hmm. and uh yeah how many seasons is it six i think it's like around six seasons yeah, yeah like, last season's like split into two kind of like breaking yeah, bad yeah, yeah yeah um no i'm not so awesome that you're a big soprano fan yeah, that is man. awesome yeah. um did you see uh the many saints of newark i didn't didn't oh you gotta no. see that okay it's the follow-up movie about christopher's dad Dickie Maltesanti. oh okay and has uh tony's uh, james gandolfini's real son playing tony right tony. right and uh I'll be honest with you, when uh, he's in it, it's kind of like the best parts. Yeah. When this young Tony, I'll be honest right. with you. But right, no, right, see right. it. And uh, uh, yeah, it's about Christopher's dad, Dickie Maltesanti, and you mm. find out the past and Uncle Junior. Uh, but yeah, definitely uh, James Gandolfini's son as a young Tony, he was great. He does the voice better than I do. Yeah. Yeah. He, yeah. He did, yeah. Well, I hope so. That's his. Yeah, he better. <laughs> yeah, he better. Yeah. DNA, he's, you know? yeah, yeah. he's an actor, and I'm just yeah. a mentor. That was sad when we lost Gandolfini. Man. Oh, God. I, at, when Gandolfini died, that was a moment where yeah. you remember where you were? Yeah. Yeah. Tell I was. Me. I do. I was yeah. driving. Yeah. Oh, tell I me. Do. Yeah, I was driving too, but you have to know oh, yours. Hey, no, I was, I was just, I was driving home. Where was that? I was working for, uh, for Yelp, actually. I oh, yeah. did a little short little stand at Yelp. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I did, yeah, and I'm driving through, and I was, I was cutting through the res to get home, and I heard it on the radio, and I was like, well, and this is going to really sound dramatic, but I pulled over. I was like, no shit. Oh, yeah. Like, what? Like, I, this is crazy. Like, we lost, like, another great one, you know? Yeah. There's still so much and it was he would too. have done, you know? Yeah. Oh, yeah. But, like, you know, just, yeah, exactly. All the different type of, uh, what was the movie that he played the gay guy? Oh, uh, The Mexican. He was the, the gay Mexican. He was the yeah. gay hitman. Yeah. He was phenomenal. Yeah. That's the thing. He he was actually a great actor. He, even though he always oh, yeah. looked like Tony. Yep. 
he could portray that. As, I mean, it, that was a surprise finding out he was a gay hitman in yeah. the movie yeah. uh, with Brad Pitt. And, yeah, um, ditch the accent, whatever. And yeah. he, did, he did a perfect Jersey accent. Oh, yeah. You know, no, you're like, from the area, so yeah. Oh, I'm from New York, not Jersey. York. Well, no, but... Uh, <laughs> Don't get it twisted. Don't get it took the train there occasionally. Jersey's the only place in order to make a right, you got to make a left. You know what I mean? Like, it's the only spot. <laughs> I mean, it's a good place to buy drugs. I yeah, mean, yeah, you know. Yeah. <laughs> and get back yeah. over the... No, I love, I love Jersey, too. Just oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's all... It's all they, 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 they watch Instagram, too. Yeah, yeah <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> yeah. And they have guns. Believe me. They're like, yeah, they oh, got, yeah. I can relate to these fucking guys. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Until that motherfucker comes out here. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Go join us. You're one of us. <laughs> He's friends of ours. He's, yeah. He's a friend of ours. That's why yeah. I always had a fantasy of being the mob, but I'm too weak. But I, I would just love to go somewhere and go, she's a friend of us. You know? Yeah. It's just my, uh, it sucks being this. But uh, <laughs> dry farts. <laughs> um, <laughs> dreams come true, Jason. They do, man. They, they do. They do. And, you got to uh, work at it, but they do come true. They do. No. They do. And I'm. <laughs> you got to work at them, but they do come they true. Do. Oh, yeah. man. What's uh, anybody you worked with as a comic? I always kind of curious. I've, uh, you don't have to name names, but. Maybe like a, a high level A lister, somewhat that was kind of a dick. Behind yep. The, you don't have to say the Only name. Only names, yeah. Yeah, but give me the vibe of what the situation was like, because I've had like your sh- the shit didn't stink, man. Yeah, yeah. I was actually co- I was I actually heard I, I like to formulate my own opinions on with things, you know. Yeah. You have to in your journey. You have right. to. Yeah. Right, because yeah. it, it could have just been like you know, well, you maybe you caused that reaction from that person. Perceptions, you know? everything. Yeah. Right, right. Exactly, but it is reality, you know. But yeah. I kind—I of, mean, you heard. I heard. Yeah, this person can kind of be like that, and then they—they they were, and I was oh, just yeah. like, "Wow!" I'm like, "You suck." Yeah. And it changed my whole outlook on that person, right? You know, because it's like my thing is this: so where, like, you try not to forget where you you come from. You know, like I'm yeah. a kid that came from the projects. You know, and I'm living in beautiful Arizona, or right. whatever. You know, um, people back home probably be like, "Ah, oh, you're bougie now." Like, no, man, I'm just not living in <laughs> a yeah. project. You know? Yeah. Like you would do the same thing too, but it's like. Right. Don't forget from where you came from. Don't forget yep. the people that supported you to get you where you are, where you are. Just and when you get there, like you don't, you can't just treat people like shit, right? Regardless, whether like fake it even if you have to, you right. know, because it's a part of business mm-hmm. type of a deal. Because you just never know who that person could be to you in the future, right? You know what I mean? Like so many. I times, could so yeah. yeah. I mean, I hope it happens, but then I could like really just break out. And then, like, I'm doing all sorts of amazing stuff. And then this dude's like, hey, man, you want to? No, no, fuck you, bro. Oh, yeah, remember. Do you not remember where I just simply just wanted to take a picture with you? Just just a picture, bro. Oh, yeah. And you were like, yeah, no. Yep. Okay, cool. Yeah. Yeah. yeah they, 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 if you're there, every headliner should at least do the picture. They understand social media for the. Every headliner yeah. I've worked with, like, even though they're big, they still do the picture because they understand it's important for your social media. Mm-hmm. If they're in the picture mm-hmm. and also to get more likes. Yeah, what if so, they got to pay for the meet and greets at the end? What do you think about that? Oh, they, uh, to pay for meet and greets? To pay to shake their hand? And take the picture, yeah. <sighs> okay. You know, they're doing that these days. Oh. They are. They, huh. yeah, it is, you, if you're doing that, you better be... It better be an arena that you sold out. I see. Yeah. Like, do it. Like, I, well, you better get something. I, would, I wouldn't... See, I say it now, Yeah. but like... I'm such a business person also. Right. Like, I'm on both sides of the fence with this one, you know. Make it affordable because it is your time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And your time is worth a certain amount of money, I think. You're you right. Know? Not I think, I know. And But then there's a certain point where you take advantage of things. Yeah. You know, like, let's you mentioned the Super Bowl. Like, some of the, the, the fees that were being charged for entry into oh, places here where bucks you parking. literally could walk into free any other day. Yeah, bar. Just because so-and-so was going to be there. Yeah. And like and they and you know they're like oh well I, I love my fans whatever well if you love your fans make it affordable for your fans to really love you in person right you know and you can still make you're still making money sell a right. t-shirt like sell a t-shirt there's revenue streams man you know I yeah. get it I yeah. get it but a picture should be know. free I just think okay I you know I, I'll charge I agree. you for the, yeah, the koozie. I agree but if you're gonna be there like because you know some people just get all right well okay take a picture this way all right I can't get it oh yeah well, fuck whatever them. you yeah. know yeah. So like your first one's free, but if you want another one, then it's gonna be like ten bucks. Yeah, you know yeah I mean? exactly. Like, you know, you're right. Okay, that one, yeah. Because you got like a long line of people that want yeah. to, you want to be, you know, respectful to that. Because somebody, yeah, they want. I want to look good on the gram. And yeah. it's, it's like, okay, now you're causing. Yeah, I'm with you on that. Where I understand it's a comic, you got to earn as much cash as you can right, on this right. Yeah, I just think maybe sell an actual product and. Because I worked with a, a great headliner, and he's a prominent podcaster, Nick Mullen. He he mm-hmm. was phenomenal, and uh, as a comic, he didn't meet and greet for free. And yeah, because he and he, I would, I would, yeah. I would, because yeah, it's just pictures. And I and I, I enjoy yeah. it. Like that's part of, you know, as comics, you know, yeah. when someone comes up to us after the fact, 
like I, that's an awesome feeling. Oh, it, you know, oh, it thank is. Thank you so yeah. much, or whatever. And it sounds cheesy. You know, it's like the whole teacher thing. All I got to do is reach one individual, right? Make yeah. one person laugh. You done. You done an amazing thing. I mean, we have an unbelievable gift where we have the ability where we can um, manipulate people's emotions. Yeah. You know, we're basically selling them uh, some laughter when they're maybe not necessarily ready to laugh. Escapism. Or so yeah. okay, go on that. Sorry. Or yeah. you know, I mean, even that too, though. But I mean, like yeah. we've all had that person, that one person, you know, that's sitting up front in the audience, and they're, oh <laughs> god, why yeah. are you here? No matter how, <laughs> and in the front. no matter how like awesome you're killing, you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. And then so now, okay, now now I'm like, now you're my goal. I I need to make you laugh, type of a thing. And I've had that where I've done it, and then I've had it where I didn't do it, uh, you know? Yeah. But then that person usually comes up. That that's the person that comes up to you. Believe it yeah. or not, I don't know if you've ever happened to you. And they go like, you were hilarious. And I go, well, why didn't you laugh? He was like, oh, I was laughing on the inside. And then you got to yeah. think about that. Like, we perceive someone's enjoyment by their facial expressions and right. their audio response, which, yes, that's how it goes. Normally, yeah. But yeah. some people could be like, you know, it was like, uh, I don't know if you guys ever watched Scrubs, but there was okay. like a, a, an episode in Scrubs where JD has this new chick, whatever, and she would always go... That's so funny, but she wouldn't laugh. Right. But she would, that's so funny. <laughs> like, well, if it's funny, why don't you laugh? Yeah. But that was her way of doing it, you oh, know? Yeah, internally well, so. laughing, yeah. <laughs> see, I'm exactly. kind of like that too, right? But I won't, I won't sit in the front at a show. But like, if I think something's, if I think something's funny, I'll go, ah, uh, and I appreciate it. It's right. making me happy. And yeah. Yeah, but I don't like that person in the front row. It, it, I, you watch them, I ignore them. I just Do want, you really? I, I can't. Yeah. I don't want to look at that face. Let's focus on the happy people. Yeah, yeah. Because it, it will fuck with me. <laughs> well, like, yeah. like in, you've yeah. seen that episode of Seinfeld where uh, the pilot of his airplane was in the front row and he just kept staring yeah. at him like this. And he just couldn't, he couldn't do his I do remember. He, yeah, he's like, uh, uh, he for, he's forgetting his act. Yeah. yeah. It's like that. I can't stare at that face. I yeah. Just, yeah. No, I have fun with it, man. Oh, yeah. I, like, I love hecklers. And it's always like, how did the club identify this one person? Yeah, get like, them to sit center right front row. Yeah. It's like, you're an angry fuck. This is a play. Comedy <laughs> club front row. That's we, got a, we got a spot <laughs> for you, yeah. sir. Yeah. Let's make it unenjoyable for the comic yeah. and the audience. Oh, uh, you come got re you got resting bitch or dick face. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, come like, with me. Come with me. Yep. Come with me. You got a bad <laughs> attitude. Like, There's a special <laughs> chair, you know, yeah. for them. You know. <laughs> well, when Dry Fars takes over and I can start my dictatorship, uh, <laughs> I, my goal is like, if you go to a comedy club, you need to have a personality test. You got to pass that right? you, that you can you that you have a good mood. You're like, oh, okay. Okay, this guy's a sense of humor. None yeah. of this, uh, yeah. are you in a good mood? Nah, but I yeah. can laugh. None of this. Yeah. I got my chicken wings and my Groupon, and I'm here. Yeah. I'm on a date. I don't want to be on, you know, that shit. Well, and that's yeah. what it, it just, it, it, it pisses me off where, like, people bring their own views and stuff. Like, this is comedy. Big. We're making fun of your views. That's the whole point of right. comedy. You know, either it's my life, your life, or somebody else's life yeah. that we're, you were making jokes about, you know, because exactly. we have to laugh at ourselves. So I'm going to stop that, like, seriously, I and mean, maybe think about your own lives, but... Like the things that you're like, this bothers me. Somebody else is going to be like, you're silly. Yeah. Why does that, <laughs> yeah, why does that bother you? Definitely. Like literally, yeah. seriously, why does that bother you? And, well, because this, 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 and that. Okay, still don't get it. Why are, why are you so bothered by that? So when, that's fine. Yeah. But right. when you come into a comedy show, just know that that's what's yeah. going to happen. Or the amount of people that have never been to a comedy show and they go to for the first time. And then some of them are like in their 60s. Yeah. And you're like, what the Fuck. They think like, it's be like Johnny Carson. And or, it's like, yeah. no, it's not. Uh, yeah. Yeah. No, that, that's that been a problem. I've had, I had or a this cruise ship. I think it's like a cruise ship, and it's going to be clean the whole time. And I was at one of the big three here in Phoenix, right? And uh, there was a local comic hosting for yeah. a bigger name. And um, this old lady, like literally like 70 years old, was in the audience. And she came up to me. I was doing camera work. Yeah. And she goes... How much longer is he on for? <laughs> <laughs> she and this local comic was yeah. just ripping about like how he just fucks yeah. his girlfriend and stuff. Oh, <laughs> and sure wasn't me. Like, <laughs> <laughs> okay, because you filmed a few of my shows. It was Jeff. My yeah. defense is starting to leak. And, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, he's got another five minutes, I think. And yeah. she's like, oh, okay. <laughs> oh my And you're God. just like, wow. Yeah. But yeah. then you also don't know we're in a transplant city like, they might not be from here. They might sure. have just moved here. Right. They could have been from Little Town, right. wherever. Yeah. Yeah. Now they have a comedy. Yeah. You know what I mean? So yeah. there's a lot of variables. That's why I love that's performing just... on the road, man, because you get oh, yeah. to meet those different types of people. Oh, isn't it the know? best? Yeah. Yeah, it, it, it really is. Well, yeah. you're talking about like the small town. You're talking about playing a mining town. There's just, it's just, they're hungry for comedy or something like that. They're mm -hmm. just, a small town doesn't have a, cl a club. It's exciting you, to them. Yeah. You ever go out like after the show 
in those, any of those small towns. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. yeah. I just seen you, man. Yeah. Like, oh, shit. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you yeah. made my wife laugh. Yeah. yeah. Like, oh, okay. <laughs> you want to come back home with us? Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Well, yeah. what time are we talking? No, I was kidding. <laughs> yeah, it's like we kind of dig your vibe. Like I don't know, but I'm like yeah. I've seen Deliverance. No, sir, I'm not coming home with you at all. <laughs> well, here's right. the thing: I did the show in Flagstaff. You done the Orpheum? I have, man. I love that theater, bro. Yeah, that Flagstaff is a great. Time. Yes, yes. Well, I did a show there, and there was a couple. The the wife was attracted. The husband, handsome mm-hmm. dude. I'm not I'm not buying or anything, but uh, but that the show they, they if you were, it's cool. Well, you know, no, it's all good. They wanted to hang out and everything, and they kept talking to me the whole time. And I was thinking, is this like a group thing? I don't right. know. Never nothing happened. Is this guy like, gonna fuck me? <laughs> I was like, he's like, you think my wife's hot, don't you? And I was like, isn't she hot? And I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And I, I, no, all due respect, no, it's cool. And nothing happened. I was Jeff hangs out. He, he's at swing clubs, man. Right. Yeah. Yeah, I, all the time. It's I was hoping good. I could time to a chair while I fucked his yeah. wife. And, um, <laughs> uh, while he's dressed like a little girl. Um, that's cut club. Have you ever been to a swing club? No, never. No, no. have you? Nah. Yeah. Please oh, tell I me. have. Yeah, absolutely. That's the reason why I'm asking the question. <laughs> <laughs>